Omaha's mayor prioritizes public safety and the public library in her multi-million dollar spending plan for the city. Good evening, I'm Rob McCartney. I'm Julie Cornell. Mayor Jean Stothard outlined her budget proposal today to city council. The mayor says there's $474 million to spend, almost 4% more than the last budget. KETV News Watch Evans Alex McLoone is live now with how the mayor wants to use that money. Alex? Yeah, as the city continues to grow, so does the number of emergency calls. And that's why Mayor Jean Stothard is once again prioritizing police and firefighters. Funding and staffing for our police and fire department remains our top priority. Mayor Jean Stothert presents her 2023 budget plan. Thank you. Saying the city intends to buy more frontline cruisers and update equipment to communicate with Douglas County's 911 system. The number of sworn officers will remain at 906, all in effort to get ahead of an anticipated return of interest in law enforcement budgeted for 178 million next year. There was a lot of anti-police sentiment a few years ago, defund, disassemble. A lot of people that wanted to be police officers said, I don't want to do it anymore. Uh, we had some retire early, but we think that that'll come back around. The fire department set to grow with 17 new sworn firefighters next year with the hope of reinstalling engine two serving downtown Omaha and a new medical unit for the station at 45th and Fontenelle Boulevard. The department is budgeted at 120 million. Next year, drivers may notice 18 million planned for street resurfacing, which is part of the Public Works Department's $203 million operating budget, also funded by state and federal dollars. Management of our street preservation program is one of the major responsibilities of our Public Works Department. The mayor's also boosting Omaha Public Library's budget to 19 million to pay the lease at 14th and Jones, materials inside, and hire eight new employees while increasing wages for staff. The change is underway and with your support will create and maintain a world-class library system. City council members still have to sign off on the budget plan and the public can weigh in at a hearing August 16th. I encourage citizens to attend and to provide feedback. Also a part of the mayor's presentation is the property tax rate, which she says will stay the same in 2023, making it the third year in a row the city's avoided implementing the voter-approved property tax increase. Reporting live, Alex McLoone, KETV News Watch 7. All right, Alex, thanks. Mayor Stothard also has proposed additions to the capital improvement program that outlines long-term investment in things like city transportation and parks. Big items include $10 million for the completion of the riverfront parks, $306 million for the urban streetcar, and $20 million for building the new central library at 72nd and Dodge. You can see the full capital improvement plan and the full budget proposal. It's in this story on KETV.com.